between Jackie Prober's left hand touching home plate and this foul ball off the bat of Kate Gordon as the World Series returns to Oklahoma City. Just south of 500. Alexander pops it up. Shale collides with the first baseman of Hanson. Shannon Shale hits the deck as she and Kinsey Hanson came together. Alexander aborted first. Another 3-2 and a ground ball to second. We will see the powerhouse Oklahoma lineup for the first time in these World Series. And she sees a lot of those too. Allo with her 35th walk of the season. It comes country by fielding percentage. Jada Coleman a first pitch attack. And Odyssey Alexander, welcome to the World Series. A scoreless first inning. And everybody is cheering for them. Second full count for Sale, and she gets Nyoka swinging. First strikeout of the World Series comes to Shannon Sale. Strike three swinging, 71 from Sale. In the air to left, Taylor Snow at a foul. Whoa, makes the catch! Lyons goes down swinging. Alexander with a rise ball for her first strikeout. And another strikeout will show you that. 70 miles per hour for Odyssey. First game in the upper deck. Here's a ground ball from Lauren Burnett. Jennings has made two defensive gems in the game, but this throw not in time. A great snare by Jennings at second, but her throw deemed late, and the freshman Burnett is on. I thought that was close at first base. And a lot of these fans, I think, thought that Jennings got her out. The focus of grabbing that hop that was such an unbelievable play. Look at right there to be able to get her glove at exactly where that ball was going to come up. And I think that she got her. Patty Gasso is going to ask about it. There is no video replay here. First base for that one. So now a bunt laid down by Michelle Sullivan. And it's bobbled by Johns. We talk a ton about the Oklahoma offense, but the Oklahoma defense and their fielding percentage, one of the best in the country, only 17 errors all season. And good execution by JMU and Sullivan to be able to lay down the bunt. Through in the third. And Gordon goes down swinging. Strikeout number three for Shannon Sale. Cam. Ron Alexander, the World Series. Here's a fly ball from Jubas to deep right center. It is gone! A three-run blast on the first pitch from Sarah Jubis. James Madison in the lead, 3-0 in the third. And the run rule. Some adversity for Patty Gasso's team in the third. Joy and exultation for Sarah Jubis. That's a ground ball to short, and Jubis commits an error. So Johns, who committed an error in the top of the third, reaches on an error from the home run hitter. Scored a base hit, actually, for Johns. Would have been a tough play in the hole. And either way, the leadoff runner on for Oklahoma in the third. Snow into left field, and the first two are aboard for Oklahoma. Good two-strike hitting here by Taylor and Snow, expecting something a little bit more up in the zone, but it's not up enough, and she's able to get her barrel to it. First pitch attack for Jennings, and a drive to center. This game is tied. Number 26 for Jennings. And the nation's RBI leader picks up three more to tie the score. And she'll golf one to right field here. Long run for Newton, and that pops in. A wide turn for Otto. She will hold it first. A single. Georgia the next game of a doubleheader. Hansen goes down swinging. Alexander finally recovers her third strikeout. Aaron Miller way back when. In the air to left field, and that is caught by Gordon. 
Great jump by Kate Gordon to take away a hit from Coleman. Kate Gordon was able to cover a lot of ground. Again, she was playing pretty deep, and you could just tell that the senior was determined for that ball to not be able to hit the ground and barely gets her glove underneath it. Thought that was going to be another bit of bad luck in this inning for JMU with one fallen. Lions here in the third. And a called strike three. She's spinning the ball through the zone like that, but just a little miss there and end up spinning too much in her back L. Hand in at second. And Sale rebounds with a strikeout of Meeks. Strikeout number four for Shannon Sale. Elam. Got it. Nice job by Ron Alexander to get out of the way, the plate umpire. Up the ladder here, and she finally vanquishes Elam. Her NCAA tournament opener with number six on the afternoon. Able to throw her rise on multiple levels like that to where if you take that pitch. Gordon could not check. Uh, another strikeout for Sale, who's cut down five in a row in the country. And a ground ball to shortstop. Lyons cleans it up. It's a one, two, three, fifth inning for Sh And a three, two for Snow. And a strikeout for Alexander on a foul tip. Three, a two, two. Jennings to second off the glove of Niokis. And a one out rip single for T.R.A. Jennings. The go-ahead runner is on for Jocelyn Allo. Bye. That smoke to third. Meeks makes the play and a hop to second for one. And that's all JMU will get. That would be the runner at first base. Great stuff, Christy. It's, it's wonderful to have you with us. Christy Cornwall will be with us all week in Oklahoma City. And you can see the contact made there, cleat to cleat. Fielder's choice on the play. And we're going to get, it appears, a double play. On a 3-2, a good take by Newton. James Madison's first. There goes Niokas, and she is out. 26 for 26, no more. How about that defensive trick pulled out of the deck by Patty Gasso? On the ground through the left side, Kinsey Hansen is aboard. Oklahoma has the go-ahead run at first. Low count. Mendez pops it up into center field, traveling out to Sullivan. And the James Madison Dukes and the Oklahoma Sooners are all squared away going to the seventh inning. Down she goes. And past the fifth. Looks like she's been waiting to get past the fifth all year. Oklahoma's going to need one to win it. Virginia Wesleyan. And a strikeout is Odyssey Alexander's ninth of the game. Hard to believe. There's a fly ball from Snow to left. And the Dukes and the Sooners are not done. Well, has upped her game. And she continues to up her pitches. Another rise ball strikeout. Eight punch outs for Shannon Sale today. Two. And a fly ball to the left center off the bat of Gordon. Coleman at the wall and it's gone. Who needs a walk when you can run around the bases? The 69th career home run for Kate Gordon. She breaks the CAA record all time. And oh, by the way, she gives James Madison the lead in the eighth. Do you have goosebumps yet? Kate Gordon on a full count. Oh, then Otto, then Hanson. And the top three are going to bat against Odyssey Alexander. Doesn't matter. Time run is on. A fly ball in the short left. Gordon is there. And